Hey, what's up guys, it's John Michaels. Today's college football scoop, I'm in a more relaxed environment. We got Grady Jarrett behind me. His team happens to be in the national championship and all the talk this week is Alabama and Clemson number four, it's bad for college football. I'm here to tell you, no it's not. What it does is it gives everybody out there in college football something to strive for and it's pretty simple. Alabama's been the preeminent program. You know why? Yeah, they recruit at a high level. They have an unbelievable coach in Nick Saban who's going to go down as the greatest coach in the history of college football. But what they do more than anybody else is they work their rear ends off. Go back and watch the documentary on ESPN about the days at Alabama. That is the hardest working program in college football. And what Clemson's done is go, hey, we were really good offensively when we hired Chad Morris, but that wasn't enough. So we went out and spent money on Brent Venables and we've kept him there. And they basically mimicked what Alabama does. They recruit at a high level, they have great quarterback play, they pay their position coaches, and they go out and get things done. My thing to everybody that's whining about it's bad for college football, tell your programs to go get it done. Spend the money, spend the resources, Go work your rear ends off. Stop having prima donna kids on your campus that think they're too good to go out and put in a little extra work. Nick Saban and Dabo Swinney expect perfection. They get perfection. And whoever wins tonight is going to go down with 95 Nebraska and 2001 Miami, maybe 2013 Florida State and some of the other great teams is one of the greatest teams in the history of college football. We should appreciate greatness and stop trying to tear down the teams that are doing more work than anybody else in college football. That's today's College Football Scoop.